Uh, Dan Johnson, Johnson's Barbecue out of Virginia. My philosophy, no wood, no good. Low and slow is my procedure. You gotta cook it low, you gotta cook it slow. You gotta indirect cook, you gotta put your meat on one side, you gotta put your, your heat on the other side. In the market, you know what they call me? The Tom Brady of barbecue. So my philosophy is to win when I do my competition, but at the same time, make sure I cook it properly, and that includes your pork, your beef, your chicken, and your ribs. Come on out, it's all over the country. You've got great rivers out here, you're gonna get good product if you come out. You got, you're the Tom Brady of uh, a oh, barbecue. That's what you call me, absolutely. And, and I win quite a bit, that's yeah. one. Yeah. You know, secondly. Uh, and you're, you're a patriot? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, you, and you date supermodels, of course, I'm sure. I know. Are you trying to get me in trouble with my wife? <laughs> no. So, uh, I date ribs and beef and chicken. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. But, uh, so some, some people specialize in certain meats, but you said you, you don't? Well, you got people in North Carolina, they like pork. In Texas, they want brisket. In uh, Kansas City and Tennessee, they want ribs. We do it all. We do it all and do it exceptionally well. We've mastered the technique of smoking brisket. We smoke it for 14 hours. We got a dry rub we put on that marinates the meat. We got several sauces that enhances the flavor of the product. We got a mild sauce we won best sauce in America with seven times. Uh, we got a thermonuclear sauce that'll improve your cardiovascular system, your sinus, your pancreas, and your colon in less than 32 seconds. And by improved, do you, what do you mean by that? Do you, is there some pain that you go, go to to get It's through? all mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. But if you mind, then there's always pain before you start feeling better. I see. Yep. So do you, do you, do you take a, a spoonful of thermonuclear sauce a day? I tell you what, if you got doctors don't want it out, I can do more for you in less than 30 seconds. Now you just tried it, did it not clear up your sinus? Mm -hmm. You don't have to take Sudafed to clear up your sinus, take Johnson's Thermonuclear Sauce. <laughs> if you want to improve your cardiovascular system, take a spoonful of Johnson Thermonuclear Sauce. It works in ways other than just enhancing the flavor of the meat. And uh, how was this Thermonuclear Sauce developed? My dad uh, served with General Patton during the war, and they were trying to figure out a way to heat up the soldiers without a fire. Mm -hmm. So he was a chemist, and he came up with these chemicals that work in conjunction with your body to jumpstart your system and make you sweat. Mm -hmm. And that's how the thermonuclear sauce was developed. Okay. And uh, did he pass it on to you then? Is that he how He passed the thermonuclear sauce on to me, but I am the developer of the mild sauce, the one oh. I best, one best sauce in America with several. So times. the next in line gets both the thermonuclear and the mild. That's quite a Oh, legacy absolutely, but there's pain. When I make the thermonuclear sauce, if it's hot outside, let's say 95, 98 degrees, and I'm sweating, even though I'm not eating it, it gets in my pores. Oh, really? So it creates pain making it. <laughs> so it makes me appreciate it, even though I'm not ingesting it. Yeah. Do you, do you not ingest it much? I take a little bit every once in a while, you know, because I'm the creator uh, of the new version of it. So I don't eat it nearly as much as I ought to, but yeah. I test it to make sure the potency is always there. And uh, and why did you get into the barbecue? What did, what did you want to do this in the first place? Well, one, I wanted to give people throughout the country there. You always hear Texas barbecue is better, uh, Tennessee barbecue is better, North Carolina barbecue is better. I got a surprise for you. Good barbecue transcends states. If it's good in Tennessee, it ought to be good in Cedar Rapids. If it's good in Cedar Rapids, it ought to be good in Texas as well. So it's not a it's not a geographical thing. It's all your recipe. Well, let me tell you this. You know, there was a story years ago about the this uh, maestro who used to play music with this violin. It was a hundred thousand dollar violin, and uh, every place he'd go, people would gather to hear him play. So he got on stage one year and he played and halfway through he took it and threw it on the on the uh, floor and stumped it and people were aghast because he just destroyed a hundred thousand dollar violin but he brought out the point it wasn't the violin making the beautiful music it was the maestro same with barbecue you know it's the chef that makes the, the good the, barbecue the spirit there you go there you go well, thank you for your time yeah